Are personality or good looks more important when it comes to your partner? What's the primary? Primary is good looks. I ain't gonna bullshit y'all. <laughs> I don't know your personality. If you ugly and I don't want to spark the conversation, I ain't gonna get a chance to know you anyway. So, Person, you better look good. Me, me is different. I, I'm gonna say personality, and this is why I say it though. And unfortunately, in this case, in this scenario, yeah, I'm not gonna know your personality off, off, off rip. But uh, you could look good, or whatever it could be. But you have a nasty attitude or a nasty personality. Then I'm gonna like now you're literally like for me personally, if I see a girl who look bad, I don't care what she look like, you can look like Beyonce, whatever case it be. But if you have a nasty attitude, to me now ultimately you have you look ugly now in a sense. Like your your outer appearance, your aura looks ugly. So I can't connect to it. So it's like like I'ma always choose personality and your intellect over your looks. The looks is definitely an addition, definitely a plus. And of course, like even like even when, like in my super dating phase, like whether I was on Tinder or IG scrolling or whatever case would be. Oh, you had the Tinder room? I did before I tried it out. I was like, let me see. What, what was that did. like? Well, it was it Tinder or was it Bumble? Like Bumble was supposed to be like the the upper class, upper echelon type oh, with, of with a rich hole that. Yeah. So I went on one of them and I, I think for the rich it, hole. I think it was well like, let me try to get one of these rich professional types is. I could beat their standards. <laughs> so, so I'm 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 thinking like, okay, the pictures will look good, so I'll swipe, but then instantly, like after I get past the looks, because it can be a quick like, if you look cute, you don't gotta look like the baddest like if you look cute, uh you don't gotta be like a super ten, you could be a Seven, you could be a six point five. I still like look past it, but now I look at your personalities or your resume or what you got going on in life. That's what I really like. After I go through the looks and analyze you, all right, let me see what you're about. That's the next thing. Like I'm not even like uh, crazy big on the on the looks. But yeah, I'll go. I'll go with the personality. Bro. Yeah, bro. For me, um. Just being honest, y'all, like, I'm, your looks don't have to draw me in before your personality does. Uh, yeah. For me personally, there's no way that I'm going to get to know your personality without being first attracted by your looks. I'm not a very talkative or social or outgoing person, so it's less than likely that we're going to have, I'm going to hear you having an amazing conversation one day, catch one of your personality and be like, oh, I like her. Like, nah, I be to myself, I'm ducked off, I'm low, super low and quiet. Um... Yeah, so I'm just being honest. The looks is the primary for me. If you don't look good to me and my standards, unfortunately, I'm probably never going to get to know you or your personality to begin with. Also, for me, um, yeah, I'm, I mean, just being genuine. Y'all, y'all. If, if it's anybody out there who says, like, your personality is the primary, can you tell me the steps on getting to know somebody without being concerned with their looks first? Because I don't even know how this shit is possible. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not the... All right, so of course, everyone has their preference, right? Everyone has their preference of what mm -hmm. type of chick they like. But I think it's like how 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 long you focus on that on that preference is the difference per se. So like me, I like me a anywhere between a petite, athletically built like the track girls to like the thick girls, mm -hmm. my around my height or a bit short, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're a little uh, taller. I climb a tree now, don't get it twisted. <laughs> I will climb a tree, don't get it twisted. <laughs> Give me a mega Meg the Stallion, I'm climbing that tree. But I prefer preferably I want like my height or, or a bit shorter. So, uh, but I don't stay too long on that preference. So like mm -hmm. as soon as I see him, I right, cool. Now let me check your vernacular. Let me see what your uh your See that's how I am, bro. Yeah, I, that's how I am. Like, like I'm quick. I ain't, I'm not all looks, but I, I, I will say though, like if you whack mentally or in real life, your looks don't matter. Your looks will get canceled out of that point. And like, niggas right. just not going to fuck with you at all. Cause I definitely have come across some visually attractive women who is like trash on the inside, and we had to, you know, we had to cut them loose. So no, I agree with that for sure. Yeah, I think so. So all right, so question, side question, sidebar question. So, boom, you see Chelsea. Mm -hmm. Chelsea's bad, boom, boom, boom. And then you, you you start to chop it up with her. Would you still be with her today if she had, like, 
negative attitude, negative. Oh hell no! Oh, okay. No, okay. she wouldn't have made it. All right. Okay. It, it probably would have been a one and done. I probably, I'm sure, I would have stuck around long enough to handle. But after that, right. it would have been a one and done. So no, no, no. I agree. Mm. No, I, I get up out of that. Hell no. Ain't no longevity in like if you got terrible yeah, energy, bro. terrible attitude. Ain't no longevity in that. Like if you do make it to get some dick, that may, that's gonna be the. The height of your success, all right, all right. and then you just gonna be on some damn you'll be answering the phone no more. I know, like, right. your energy is trash, and I hate being around you. I just like those moments where we intimate, but other than that, I'm gonna <clears> run <throat> from your ass. <laughs> nah, for real, I be trying to avoid all conversations, but I don't even want to talk because it's negative energy. La ladies, that, that was a message too. If y'all didn't catch it, uh, nice. for a lot of you who may be wondering why your man often. Like, he'll happily indulge in the physical, but other than that, he stay away from you. I ain't placing the blame on you because it could be him. Mm -hmm. But just try to weigh that option, too, that maybe, like, in your other in the other variables of your life, you're not as peaceful as you are when he's inside you. You're not as cool, calm, and collective or understanding. Because a lot, a lot of people currently, like, at this very moment, y'all in relationships where the, the sexual exchange is amazing. But other than that, y'all can't hang around each other too long. Y'all can't talk. And that shit just tends to always go left. So, yeah, you, you might want to assess yourself and ask, like, you're amazing in bed, but are you amazing at listening? Are you amazing at communicating? Are you amazing at being receptive to new information? Are you amazing at being led, being taught? Uh, everything. Like, sex is cool, but that's probably why a lot of y'all just have good sex, but nothing else in your life or relationship is going good with that man or that woman. Just, just a thought. For sure. <coughs> All right, bro, next one. You know everything about sports, you know everything about me. What, what weed is popping, what's designer with this and that, but you don't know shit about yourself. So a lot of you guys are just well-dressed vessels. 